mass extinction we fear has already begun. Our planet will perish, and so will we. We must set Godzilla free. So you'd want to make Godzilla our pet? No. We would be his. What the hell does that mean? It's too black and white to think of Godzilla as a hero or a villain because he is a representative of nature. He is nature's wrath. Godzilla's dope. Oh man, Godzilla is my hero. Godzilla is not just this big thing here to destroy. He has a purpose that he's fulfilling just as any of us. In this particular film, we realize that we actually need him. And in a lot of ways, he's here to teach us a lesson. He represents the dangers that await us should we disobey the laws of nature. Let him know we're not a threat. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's bring him in for a beer. You out of your mind? Do it. Godzilla, I don't think is good or bad. I don't think you can attribute good, bad, the light and the dark to nature. Good thing he's on our side. For now. With this film, we were trying to, for lack of a better word, deepen Godzilla's character. As strange as that might sound, because we're talking about a 400 foot tall monster, but I've always seen Godzilla as being very misunderstood. You get to see a lot more of Godzilla's natural techniques, things that haven't been displayed in the old movies. This is beyond any dinosaur I've ever seen. Our Godzilla is the most ruthless. He's solid. He is thousands, if not potentially millions of years old. So I like the idea that Godzilla is older and wiser than we give him credit for. If humanity is going to survive a world where giant monsters exist, Godzilla is the key to that.